everybody, welcome to twitch.tv forward slash Jestertainment. I am your host, Jester, and welcome once again to Pokemon Training Card Game Online. That's right, I'm a PTCGO streamer. Um, I, I'd say I'm sorry, but I wouldn't mean it. You know, I'm having a great time. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it it's my life from now on. That's fine. We're, we're living with it. Uh, hello, everybody. Hello, Gibbo. Hello, uh, James. How is it going, boys? Welcome along. Um, James, let's get straight into it, shall we? Do you have a deck you'd like to play against? Um, my default is going to be Lugia, so if there's anything you want to practice against, let me know. I like the way the bot just takes, like, forever to decide whether it wants anyone to go. Yeah, let's give Lugia a crack. Okay. Uh, chat, we are going to try out the betting system as well for Streamlabs. Uh, you got two minutes to put on a bet. I have no idea how it works. Good luck. Your time starts now. Who wins? So I can bet. Um, bet. Zero. Fifty. That's right. I'm betting on me. Good thanks spending this week at my dad's. Oh, that's good to hear, dude. Hope it's uh, hope it's going well. Do you reckon that worked? Bet. Zero. Fifty. I have no idea if that's worked. So we'll, we'll have a great time trying to figure out if that's worked. Uh, if I even look at another item of food, I may explode. Oh, buddy. How, so, how has Christmas has been? Uh, what amounts of food have you all eaten? What have you all eaten? Tell me everything. Tell me everything. I still... Okay, James, I need you to remind me at some point. I need to sort out a timer and a round counter for <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> I will never remember. I keep saying it's something I'll do. Uh, sure, we'll go with that. Kay has left me all of the uh, heroes that she doesn't like, so I'm going nuts on these now. Okay. Mmm, it's a start. It's not one I'd want, but it's a start. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I'm not happy about this start, but we'll, uh, we'll do something with it, I'm sure. We're smart, intelligent people. Allegedly. We had a Christmas dinner with Lee's dad, and then went to her brother's who insisted we eat even more food. You can politely say no. <laughs> no, I'd simply not like more food. Thank you for the kind offer, stranger. Thank you for the uh, Reddit gold. We're gonna we're gonna try something a little bit funky here. Like the Char Char slide, only different. You know, hmm, y hmm, no. Happy with that. I know I was full because I had to turn down a glass of wine because I couldn't physically fit it in my body. <laughs> it's a liquid, it'll work its way down, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh. Genuinely was like, why put an energy on Kramer? Of course, yeah, you need to retreat it, don't you? Le doy. Streamer use streamer brain. So, uh, where are we with Pokemon cards in real life chat? Um, I recently ordered 10 of one particular card because I think it's going to be good next year. Um, AMA? AMA? Okay, uh, I want you there. You know what? Let's see if we can save this card. That was a mistake. Well, here we are. You already fed me a litre of cider before that. That's illegal. <laughs> you got to feed people a litre of cider. Um, hmm. Hmm, how would... Hmm, yes, actually, hmm. No, because I can't... That. Hmm. <laughs> actually. Actually, okay. We're going for the um, often seen, often uh, goes well for me, uh, aggressive status. Let's see how well this goes. Place your bets now. I really don't like going for one. What particular card did you order 10 of? Oh, sorry. Hi, Alpha. I, I realized I started saying that and then didn't actually give any context as to what it was. Um, I bought a, uh, a load of cards. I brought uh, all the uh, 10 Curliers from Crim... Not Crimson. Um, Chilling Rain. For anyone who's confused, I will happily explain. But it's uh, it's a worthwhile investment, probably, hopefully, is my current logic. Now, whether that remains true or not, we'll find out. But 
Uh, there is mad logic. There is method behind the madness. There's also method in the madness. Uh, question, and I feel like I know the answer already, but if I put a V-Guard energy on Stoutland V, use Wild Tackle, does the V-Guard energy stop the, <laughs> the Wild Tackle damage? <laughs> Surely, right? <laughs> ah, yeah, I know why that Curlia is interesting. I'm glad you do, Alpha. I'm glad you do. So, yeah, um, the cheapest sell... Uh, the cheapest ones that are available uh, were from one seller, and he was selling 10 of them. And I was like, well, at the very least, I've then got enough to make two decks with that particular engine. Uh, so, you know, I can make a deck for my girlfriend, make a deck for me. Um, at worst, I can sell the ones that I don't need. And at best, I've now got a supply of them for other people. Um, I've also got six of the Curlia from Astral Radiance, I think it is. Uh, I've ordered the Gilades that go with it as well. Uh, we've got the Guard of Wars already, so we're just waiting for the EXs. <clears throat> I'm very excited to see how this deck goes, I'm going to be honest. I'm really hoping it does end up being, like... Not, I don't hope it's best deck in format, but I hope it's good. Because it has a very interesting engine, I'm really looking forward to running it. Okay, um... Well, we'll find out the answer to our own question shortly. Um... How would we like to proceed from here? I think we start as we mean, right? Let's get rid of you. That presents interest. That presents it. Probably will roll with that. Actually, do I even want to... I don't really want to overcommit to this, but I'm going for it anyway. The answer for V-Guard Energy is no, it will not prevent the damage. Okay, so I completely trust you, obviously. I know you know what you're talking about. But why? <laughs> why doesn't it? Why can't I use the attack the way I want to use it? I don't understand this stupid game. Let me have fun. I should be fair with the brick start from this lost box. I'm having my fun, let's be honest. I'll thank F for that Marnie. I knew it would help you, god damn it. <laughs> why am I such a polite, lovable young man? Helping out my enemies. Um, but yeah, I got basically I've got all the cards I need for the Curlier engine, so I'm very excited. <laughs> like I said, even if it doesn't turn out to be a good deck, at least we've got the engine to start playing with. I might even see if I can retrofit it, retrofit it, retrofit it with another deck. Like part of me was like, okay, we're losing Intellion for Jolteon. Could I bring Jolteon back using that deck list, using the Curlier list? I don't think so, because it still doesn't knock out either Lugia or Palkia. Um, even with weakness, even with Choice Belt, which is really depressing. Um, the only way around it realistically is go with like um, super effective glasses, but then you lose the elemental badge, which is kind of the whole point of that deck. So, I don't know. There's, there's thoughts and feelings. There's thoughts and feelings going on with that deck. I just don't know exactly where I'm going with it yet. I s I'm so desperate to make Jolteon work still. I love Jolteon. On, I've said it multiple times, but it was honestly the last time I remember actually having fun with a deck. An escape rope, you say? I find your efforts disturbing. Live. Hey, any uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game live players here? Is there a counter on the Lost Box? Because having to go back and manually check each time is really annoying. Just give me a number, baby. Uh, sure, I mean, you can have this boy back. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, it must have been while you were kissed. Why is that in my head? Let's meet life mages. Um, okay. There's two ways we can do this. Let's see if the simple way works. The simple way does work. Merry Christmas. We do like to double dip here at Jestertainment. An Aurora Energy and a Hiding Energy were in my prizes. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I don't know what the percentage chances of having energy in a prize pile is. It runs 16, but it seems overly high. GG James, GG. Let's go for uh, Gamma 2. Gamma 2 is a technical term.
I feel like you heavily bricked on that last box. <coughs> that lost box, even. Words are hard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, will, I will endeavor to get better. Uh, that doesn't matter. I was going to say first or second, but I lost a coin flip. With the Juniper coin. Didn't I actually realize that was the end. <laughs> the end. The end! Yeah, I, I knew I had enough powerful energy for that to work. So I was, uh, I was quite happy there. I mean, the other path was like using the Avelto to start taking knockouts. Uh, use Luminion to find the... I mean, actually, I could have used Luminion to get a boss's orders and bring a Comfy up. Like, either way, I think I had the one, though. It's weird, because like, I hate committing all the powerful energy to um, the Doge, but at the same time, it kind of needs it, and where else are you going to use it against this deck? Okay, this isn't the worst star, but it's not the best either. We're going to see what tools we've got available. Okay, much better start for you. Um, let's see what we've got. Available. There's one of them. Three of those. Okay, do fine. Okie dokie. Um, let's grab you. I'd say I should have paid more attention to the prizes, but with the awful start there, there's a bugger all I could do. Yeah, your start was like genuinely dreadful. I feel really bad for you, dude. Man, we're in a very interesting position if we can find something useful. We're going to need, like, the best um, primal wisdom that's ever happened. I was almost like, oh, cool, Pokestop, and then realized you prized it. Wouldn't even be upset about one of those right now. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. Rubbing on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cute. Hmm. Anything from Pajero. I'm going to fill my mouth. Sorry, chat. That was like the worst thing I could have eaten in the middle of talking. Yeah, okay, I will stop eating fudge on stream. <laughs> Streamers stuck to Wow. Streamers teeth are stuck together. Send help. Escape rope in this I Lord Near and Savior 2012. That was words. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm upset that you you removed the threat of Stoutland. How could you do this to me? I thought we were friends. <laughs> First of all, how dare you? Path to the peak, you motherfucker. <laughs> Who do you think you are playing path down the funk soul brother? Right about now. Oh, come on. <laughs> Call myself the comfy. Angaroo. It's fine. I have full faith in this deck. Should I have? Ah, you know. Who's to say? Who is to say? Do you run um do you run a radiant in this, James? And if you do, is it Greninja. I hate this. I'm in a really awkward place. I pulled back the wrong comfy. Dude, it's so hard to keep track. Don't even feel bad. Um. Okay, there's a smart play here. Let's see how smart it actually is. Beautiful bitch. Um, okay. 
Cool. So, eat those. Uber duper. Oh, we, we like you, Dart. Um, give me... Okay, we need to think about this carefully. Who do we not need out of this pile? Probably the Ultra Ball. Get rid of the path. Then we can summoning star. Bring up the Archaeops. So we can bring up to 40, 60, 80 off Stoutland. We put a double turbo on Orangaroo, but we are going to lose him, which sucks. Uh, manly attach one, but that's a waste of an Archaeops. So I think we double turbo. E.T. Not new. Should have two powerful energies available. We do. Whoopa, whoopa. I'll tell you what I discovered though. Um, obviously with playing online, it's quite easy to keep track of your decks. Um, you can kind of go, oh right, uh, this one, that one, that one. Uh, energies at the back, so I'm going to look through that. You know, organizes it for you. I played uh, played Lugia against Kea yesterday, and I was finding it really hard to keep track of all the energy because it doesn't all go together like it does in online. So I'm like, there's one Aurora, two Aurora, there's a Heat Energy, that's two Aurora, no, three Aurora. Like, I was losing track of it so much. Really annoying. We love a start like this. There's another deck list using Raikou V, and honestly, I have not managed to make anything useful happen with Kyogre, so I could add a couple of Lightning or Aurora Energy and stick Raikou V in it instead. Yeah, um... I don't know if you heard me talking to Matt the other day, but like running Kyoga seems like such a weird play because it really is like a last ditch effort. <clears throat> I think how people try and do it is they try and almost deck out like one card off decking out and then uh, use energy recycler to throw five energy back into the deck. Um, then use Kyoga to do their attack because they're guaranteed to do at least 200 damage that way, uh, which usually like takes at least a couple of knockouts on like Archeops, for example. It's, it's a good closer, but it's really awkward to set up, I feel. I wouldn't recommend it to a friend. Trust me, I'm a friend. So, we're, in a, we're in an interesting position. Zer Interessant. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I, like I said, I tried it with Kyogre, and I, I didn't enjoy playing it. I managed to pull some off on, like, Josh once. But that was it. Like, it was like a single, like, this is what I could be doing. <laughs> but, like, realistically, I'm not doing anything because it doesn't do much. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Nine? Um, other considerations to make um snorlax with running snorlax maybe throw in a twin energy um matt's version of the deck runs magma basin so you've got no worries about throwing fire energy away because you can pop a radiant charizard via that obviously you're running greninja instead that's the other thing as well like using greninja to to attack um do 90 to soften up the bench and then finish it off with a kyoga doing 200 damage you're guaranteed to knock out v stars that way there's, there's interesting plays that are just really annoying to set up. It's like the main issue. <laughs> like, it's a lot of work just to make, like, something kind of showy happen. Whereas I think Raikou V is, like, more of a guaranteed damager, especially against the Mew. I think you'd be stupid not to use it, to be honest. Hey, Rainbow, how's it going, bud? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. How's it going? As the kids would say, is it all good in the hood? Okay. Uh, two ways to go about this. Which way do we go? Let's get together and feel all right. Do 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 Uh, you can go away for a second. Don't need you. Pretty good, just vibing on Boxing Day. Hell yeah, brother. Um, did you? Okay. Uh, so I haven't asked the question yet. Obviously, first day, uh, first time streaming since Christmas. How did everyone's Christmas go? What presents did you get? 
Um, I'd like to highlight one at, uh, at this particular moment. Maybe we'll talk more about more later. We got an air fryer, so now we're actual millennials, which is pretty cool. I'm glad we could officially cement our status. We've gone Facebook official chat. Um, we are, in fact, millennials. We haven't posted any photos yet of our air fryer, but we have one. We should have done, yeah. I cooked bacon this morning. Uh, I cooked mine and Kaya's in the two separate compartments. Came out bangerang. I just cooked it a little bit longer than it said because, you know, uh, cold fridge bacon. It was nice. Really good. Um, we also got a... Oh, I said one. I, we also got a Pokeball waffle iron. That that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, there was a struggle, but it was fine. It, it was fun. I enjoyed playing with it. The one for Reku V came third. The Latin American International six out of the eight is the top decks with Lugia. So Lightning Attack is a good call. Yeah, it's why um, it's why the Zerok box with Raichu is doing so well as well. I'm considering throwing it together. I've got to the age where perfume is now an exciting gift. Is it? Yes, even though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I mean, I'm not I'm not here to yuck yums. No, it was... Uh, I, I, I got the usual, like, you know, deodorants and stuff like that from my nan. That was, that was all right. Got, that's from my mom. Got a £50 Amazon voucher from my mom. It's pretty cool. Gonna use that to buy paraphernalia of Pokemon-related goodness, I imagine. Okay, now I sound like I'm 70. <laughs> Christmas was good, pretty chill, which was nice. Mostly clothes and food, which is nice at this age, bro. <laughs> My stream into a bunch of fucking old friends. What's going on? Wow, really? You went for the Raikou? Bold. Um, and there was Shotgun, which was interesting. Did he? Did he? Did he? Did he call Shotgun? <laughs> James, I know you kind of needed to take out the Raikou. Um, but that's still game, dude. Uh, I got a mu musician's watch, which is pretty cool. What makes it a museum's it's Museum, mu musician's watch. Streamer say word, good. Challenge 2022, impossible. Oh, piss. <laughs> oh, buddy. Um, I'm going to be real with you. I don't think there was an actual way for you to avoid the loss there. Um, Raikou would have done double damage on either Cramorant or Kyogre, so you couldn't really have put either of those up. And then the bench damage, uh, anything was, like, killable there. I'm going to be real. I don't think there was a way. I kind of had you checkmated, though. 